What's up guys, this is 1973s Proof Roosevelt time in PR70 deep cameo condition with amazing eye appeal. The frosty devices appear to float over the deep watery fields of this perfect deep cameo. Both sides are color free and completely devoid of abrasions or spots. Additionally, boldly defined design elements further enhance the coin's amazing eye appeal. Sold for $750 at Heritage Auctions. This is attractively toned 1962 Washington Quarter in Mint State 67 Plus. Certified 1962 Washington Quarters in superb gym condition are scarce and highly sought after among register set collectors. It shows radiant luster and vivid multicolor toning. The strike is sharp and there are no bothersome abrasions. Sold on March 14, 2019 for $26,400 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1950D Franklin half dollar with full bell lines, graded in mean state 67 by PCGS. The full bell line or FBL is a designation used to describe Franklin half dollars that has complete and uninterrupted bell lines. The designation is used as an indicator of strike quality. The obverse appears pristine while the reverse shows a single tick of the lower part of the bell. Both sides feature powder blue, gold and lavender patina centrally with deeper orange toning around the borders. Sold on January 9, 2024, $32,400 at Heritage Auctions. Here is super valuable wartime error coin, 1945s Walking Liberty of Dollar, double struck, second strike 55% of center. This exact coin is plated under number 36 in the 2010 edition of 100 Greatest US Error Coins where it is described as the most dramatic multi-struck liberty walking half dollar known. After the normal first strike, the piece failed to fully eject from the dies. It was struck again wildly of center toward 6.30, and the second strike is centered at 8.30 relative to the first strike. Sold for $41,125 at Heritage Auctions. And the most valuable coin of this episode, 1926s Lincoln Cent in Mint State 65 Red, during 1940s and 1950s, collectors retrieved numerous well-worn 1926s cents from circulation, with the result that such pieces are quite common in today's market. About uncirculated representatives are, however, quite elusive, despite a mintage of more than 4.5 million pieces, and mint state coins are few and far between. If one is fortunate enough to encounter a mint state 1926s, it will most likely be either fully lustrous and poorly struck or sharply impressed and brown in appearance. However, this super rare specimen combines a fully lustrous orange, gold and olive appearance with pinpoint striking definition. The eye appeal is superior to the typically encountered example and both sides are devoid of detectable marks. Sold for $106,375 at Heritage Auctions.